to add to your backyard decor. That's right, yes. I'm so, I'm so happy we're doing this because this is something I really feel passionate about doing. Yes. Um, how do we get started with this? Well, you know, one thing I love about this is that this is something that, yes, we can honor it for Memorial Day, but you know, we have 4th of July coming up and all summer long, all the way, you know, to Labor Day and even Veterans Day. Keep it up all exactly. year long. Or just yeah. because, keep it up, just because you're American and yeah. you're proud. Yeah. Right, exactly. 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 So um, I just moved into a new home and um, in the backyard they have this, this great sign that actually just said Summer House and um, a flag beneath it. But it was, you know, a little old and a little weathered. So I thought I would um, take matters into my own hands. <laughs> but can I ask and, you, uh, yes. before you even say that, what inspired you? to do this. I know it's a really great little story. Uh, I, okay, we had Condoleezza Rice. <laughs> Which was so awesome. La I was know, I wish week? I was here that she day. Was so awesome. She was so amazing. Oh no. And the things she said, I literally went from the show that day home and looked up a bunch of the things she said. One of my favorite things that she said was the, um, the coat of arms that is actually in the Oval Office. There's an eagle, and in his, in his little talons, he has arrows in one and um, an olive leaf in the other. And she was saying that Truman, President Truman, actually turned the head. So he wasn't, no, he, the little eagle was no longer looking at the arrows, but looking at the olive branch instead. How beautiful is that? And I just that. that, you know, we want to be a peaceful nation, and we yeah. want to extend that olive branch to countries all over the world. Um, and it was such a wonderful story. And so I thought, instead of actually Actually drawing an eagle in those two things that we can bring those things into our own home right. without being so literal yeah so this is kind of like a, a little hat tip to your interpretation to Condoleezza. Condoleezza. Love Love it. Little Condi. Look how beautiful the final oh, product gorgeous is. how do yes. we do this okay so the first thing you do um, you can see behind us we've got the real red and red white and blue ones they're really kind of bright um, you can go that way I picked one that's a little more rustic and cool. has burlap just because that's what I like and this is going in my I backyard. I love this one. It's so so cute. what you want to do is lay this down below, grab a piece of wood, any size. So obviously, if, we, if I had used that one, I'd be working with a bigger piece of wood because it's a little longer. This one's a little smaller, and I will take my pencil, and you want to match the lines for the colors. So all I'm going to do is put a little line there, yeah. there, there, uh, and that's all the same colors. So you're going to leave that. Come on over here. So this is basically delineating the colors, and then just take your carpenter square, which is a triangle, so I don't know why it's called square, but it is. <laughs> and then just mark that out. And because of the magic of TV, I've prepared something for you earlier. Nice. Oh. There it is. Wow. So, okay, yes. beautiful. So but then, how do you weather it? So, um, I kind of wanted it to look old, especially if you're going to match yeah. something that's burlap. Yeah. I, normally, if you're going to go white, you can paint this white. I painted, and then you just take um, a little bit of sandpaper. And you can kind of see, I didn't fill it in completely, but if you take sandpaper, you can take any grit. I used 100. This is actually 60, so it's a little stronger. And then just do this. Thank you. And oh, I like that. You end up pulling it back just a little bit. It's like shabby shooting it. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. And Ooh, so I love that. Just keep doing that all the way down. And I just put a tiny bit of white just to kind of say, like, oh, there's white, white in our Exactly. This in color, our is that this color? The red and this? Like yes. It, and this pink? Because it light looks brighter. Now. Well, no. Okay. So you want the red, white, and blue? You pick these colors. If not, let me show you what I did here. It's kind of a little trick us DIYers do. Orly. Yeah, that's bright. Orly will know about this. I okay. Know. So this, that is a <laughs> bright, <laughs> bright, a bright red. <laughs> yeah. You know what yeah, I got I it. It was my totally. idea, everybody. So I <laughs> no actually clue. just took a darker, and this is a an elegant finish. I really think it is. No, actually, that's what it's called. Um, I love a, that paint. A I've used this brown. paint so much. It's I love so it. nice. But Kim uses this as eyeshadow. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All you need to do is put in another, and you don't need to use this color. I was just kidding. But you could use um, any darker color, mix it around, and then all of a sudden, you oh, kind of see it. We, we're deeper. And then if you want more and keep more going, brown, yeah, just until keep you going. Get the color you want. I did the same thing with the blue, oh, too. Okay. So it's not so red, And do you know blue. what else is great? Like I was saying, how do you weather it? Well, yeah, you can use the sandpaper. But if you're putting this outside, the sun is going to bleach it anyway. So yeah. it's going to start to look Mother really Nature great. is going to yeah. be the best DIYer <laughs> that you ever. have. Yes. So I'm going to switch this one out. Orly, can you hand me yeah. that one down there? And now, as my little hat tip to Condoleezza, um, what I've added here, you guys can see. That's okay. beautiful. So this is the olive, the olive branch, um, and then the feather. Instead of doing it in an eagle, I just did a feather. And then we also have what he oh. has in his talons, the little arrows. Now, what I've done here, I've put um, 
these little C hooks down below and just drilled them in because I'm going to hang my flag from there. But you can also see here that I've put little holes in the wood mm -hmm. because that's what's going to hold the back of these little arrows. So, yeah, if you could just hold I'm that up for me, that. Debbie. I am putting... So you lined um, up the arrows the way you wanted and then did it with uh, hot glue? I hot glued them together, that? yes. Oh, and then the, and and then then the wire. The, yep. The and wire the just wire. so we can hold it on the... Yep. So that's we put in. Let me turn it around okay. so you guys can see this at home. Um, and then all you do here is twist just twist it. Yep, just twist it and then open it, kind of splay it, so yeah. that'll keep it on. There we go. Twist it a little tighter. You can you can twist a little I just tighter. Want to yeah. twist a little tighter. <laughs> like I want it yes. nice and secure. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So okay, then. Hold on. There we go. Oh, De okay. Debbie, you're taking this DIY very seriously. <laughs> I like it. Okay. And then will you do me a favor and hang that on here? Okay. Yep. And where were all these little accoutrements from? I got them at the craft store. Stop it. That is no, so right cute. down the street. Okay. So, so I'm taking it back here. And, and I love it how it isn't the exact thing. It's just a sort of homage. Yeah. And yes. What a story this tells. It's so beautiful. It's such a conversation piece. When people come over to the house and be like, what's up with the arrow? How much would this cost? What's up with the This arrow? is under $50.